Now, uh, in the area of New England, uh, you have a number of epidemics hitting, uh, which results in, yeah, 90% population loss. Oh, my goodness. This is happening mostly along the coast. And so it has a serious impact uh, on the communities there. Uh, and in, in a sense, it, it opens the way for uh, English colonization, particularly the Plymouth colony. Yes, they arrive on the Mayflower, uh, and the pilgrims see that there's open territory. There's even a village that's completely em empty, except for the bones uh, of the people who died from epidemics there. Uh, and they think, oh, the pathway has been cleared for us by God. Uh, but really, it was just epidemics being spread by other European groups who had been there prior. Uh, and so eventually, the English will settle there at Plymouth, uh, and they will make an alliance with the Wampanoags, uh, and the Wampanoags will help them to survive, particularly with the help of uh, uh, a person by the name of Squanto who shows the English how to survive, how to plant corn so that they could make it through that first winter, although many of them will die. Uh, Squanto himself is not a uh, Wampanoag, uh, but he's, he's a member of another tribe from that area who was decimated by the epidemics. Um, so colonial expansion uh, in New England, uh, so basically you're going to see a lot of trade uh, expanding because of the arrival of Europeans. And it's not just European goods that are being traded, but also native goods such as wampum, right? These sacred little uh, bead shells uh, that are, are used for ceremonial purposes and, and also for ornaments. Uh, and so you'll see an increase in the wampum trade. The Dutch will uh, will have a play a role in that by uh, dispersing drills uh, to coastal natives in New England who use the drills to make more wampum. Uh, here's a picture of a, a wampum belt, right? Uh, and so uh, you're also going to see the establishment of the Massachusetts Bay Colony during this time. And uh, the Massachusetts tribe who occupied the area where the colony uh, will be established uh, suffers a, a major smallpox epidemic, which wipes out a huge uh, number of their population. And so uh, some survive still, and they'll eventually be moved to praying towns. Uh, you also see the establishment of the Connecticut and Rhode Island colonies during this time. And you have a map of southern New England and some of the tribes there. Uh, and you're eventually going to see conflict uh, over Dutch trade relations. Uh, and then eventually uh, it's going to, the English are going to get involved as well. Uh, and this conflict all surrounds one of the more dominant tribes in the area of southern uh, New England, and that is the Pequot tribe. Uh, one of their sachems, Tatobem, is going to try to control the trade by excluding other tribes from trading with the Dutch. Uh, and this is going to uh, lead to conflict where, yeah, the Dutch are going to end up killing Tedobem, uh, but the Pequots still are in, in control of that area afterwards. He's just succeeded by another leader uh, known as the Sachem. Right. Uh, and eventually you'll have a Pequot war between the English who want to break the dominance of the Pequots uh, and their Indian allies, the Narragansett and Mohegan. Uh, now, Mohegan, uh, you know, being different from Mohican that we were speaking of earlier. Uh, and so these tribes will join with the English against the Pequots because they're trying to break their dominance of the area. Um, one of the main uh, events of this war, the Pequot War, is going to be the massacre at Mystic Village, uh, where hundreds of Pequot people are killed. Uh, the, the village is set on fire and they shoot anyone that tries to escape. Uh, some Pequots uh, do survive uh, that the, the massacre at Mystic Village or, or weren't there in the first place. Uh, and they'll be led by uh, another sachem by the name of uh, Sasakus. Uh, and Sasakus will lead his people to, uh, to try to find safety amongst the Mohawks. Only thing, the Mohawks have been paid off with wampum uh, by the English. Uh, and so they turn on uh, the Pequots and, and kill many of them. Uh, though some of the Pequots do survive. And so uh, ultimately, the Pequot War will end with the Treaty of, of Hartford, and you can, you can take a look at these main points, which kind of explains that further.